When Bears offensive lineman Kyle Long found out a nine-year-old boy from Hunley, Illinois, had been the victim of bullying at school for close to three years, he felt the need to do something about it. I'm Antonieta Collins, joined by ESPNChicago.com writer Jeff Dickerson. Jeff, Long spent his day with nine-year-old Andrew Oyston to show his support. How did he find out about Andrew, and what did he do to help him? Well, one thing about Kyle Long, Tony, is he's very active on social media. I mean, the guy has been a a Twitter machine since he got to Chicago last year, and he, he does a great job of interacting with his followers, interacting with his fans. So uh, Andrew's father, Frank, sent Kyle a tweet, not thinking there was any way that Kyle would, number one, even see the tweet, or number two, even respond, explain the situation that his son was being bullied at school and on the bus because of his weight, and could Kyle do something to help, meaning, you know, could you maybe talk to my son and help his self-confidence? Well, Kyle responded immediately to the father. They had some back and forth. And before you know, they had this meeting set up where Kyle was going to, when he, when he got back to Chicago from his off-season home in California, was going to spend some time with the family. Uh, it turned out that Andrew's sister Riley's eighth birthday party was last Saturday at Chuck E. Cheese. They invited Kyle. He said, sure, why not? So he showed up, spent the whole day with the kids, and actually even went back to their family house afterwards to sign some pictures, you know, just hang out and even play catch in the backyard. So it was amazing the quick turnaround that Kyle Long paid to this and really his attention to just the average fan that, that interacts with him on Twitter. You spoke with Long, and he mentioned that he had trouble with bullying when he was younger. Why was it important for him to reach out? Yeah, I, I mean, you know, you wouldn't think a guy that's 6'6", 313 pounds in a first-round NFL draft pick would have had problems as, as a youth. But, hey, we all go through our issues during childhood, and, and Kyle, you know, was obviously a, a big kid growing up, and, and he had his his you know set of problems. He comes from a, a fairly well known family, of course. His father, Howie, is a Hall of Famer. His brother is a, a great player for the St. Louis Rams. They have another brother in the family, but he also got teased too. So he he understood where Andrew was coming from. He'd been there before, and the way he described it to me is. It wasn't like Andrew and Kyle had this great heart-to-heart -heart talk where he laid his emotions out on the table. He just thought the young man wanted someone to hang out with and kind of wanted that older brother type. Jeff, you also said that you spoke with the father. What surprised you the most about his situation? I was very uh, very sad to hear what Andrew had gone through, according to his father, Frank. I mean, they had actually had to move and change schools because he was being teased so much about his weight and it didn't stop at the second school. and Now, they got the principal involved in the way that his father described it. Uh, the principal was very concerned as well and, and certainly wanted that behavior to stop. But it's very difficult sometimes to make kids stop doing things that kids do. I mean, as a parent, you, you send your kid off to school and you just have to hope that he's in the right environment. It only takes a couple of, uh, as Kyle Long termed it, bad apples to make a kid's you know, school experience not a pleasant one. So I, I felt very bad for the family, what he had to endure, but it sounds like Andrew had the time of his life with Kyle Long over the weekend. They're going to stay in touch, and I know the family said they're going to be down at training camp, checking out a training camp practice this summer, and maybe a game, but of course Frank can't promise the family Bears tickets. That's a little too much, but um, I think this certainly was a good turning point in this young man's young life. ESPNChicago.com's Jeff Dickerson with the insight for the latest NFL news. Keep it right here on ESPN.com. I'm Antonieta Collins with your ESPN Headline.